Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the OneNote Print to OneNote feature. So if you're using Microsoft OneNote, whether it's the free version or the version that comes with Office 365, uh, you'll be able to use this feature. All right, so we have some OneNote notebooks open here, so let's try this feature out and see how it works. All right, so first we're going to go into this PDF file here, and then we're going to print this to OneNote. All right, so it's just one page like that. So we'll just do the typical option to print. And then you should have a OneNote printer option along with your other printers. And then, of course, you could go into the properties if you need to make any changes. But there's not a lot you could do here. What pages you want to print, the size, and so on. All right, so we're just going to leave the defaults here and click on print. All right, so now it brings up our OneNote notebooks here. So if you don't have OneNote open, it'll open it for you. So we want to put this in, let's say, this presentation section here. So it takes you to the presentation section, and it printed the PDF file right to it. So it puts it as an image. That's the only downside, so you can't actually edit the text. So it's kind of like you know copying and pasting a screenshot of it into the uh, OneNote notebook here. All right, so now let's try it for an email. So we have this email here has an attachment, a link, a picture, like so. So we'll do the same thing, print. Pick one note from our printer list here. Then you could do portrait or landscape. You know, depending on what app you're printing from, you're going to have different options. So we'll click on print. All right, so this time we'll put it in our mountain bike trip notebook here under our rental section. So put it right there. So here's the printout. So once again, it's just a single, you know, t image type thing. So I can't select the text. I can't look at the attachment. I can't click on the link, but I could see the picture like so. So, like I said, it's a quick way to get some information into your OneNote notebook, but it's not going to be something you could actually edit. So it may be useful, may not be useful, but at least now you know you could do it. So if you don't have OneNote, um, you could do a search for it online, or if you go to the Microsoft Store. Do a search for OneNote, then you can click on it and install it from here. And this is for the free version, but if you have Office 365, uh, you should have it already installed. And then you can also go to the OneNote.com website and get it from here. So I'll put a link in the description for that, and you can uh, decide which way you want to get it if you don't have it already. And then, like I said, once you have it installed, when you go to Print, it should automatically configure the OneNote printer for you, and then you can just send it to your notebook from there. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.